Namaste, everyone. <sighs> okay, um, I need to tell you guys a truth, okay? What man has created as far as hell, right? Is a world of uh, basically the third dimension. Where you are imprisoned in your mind. Thinking that everyone outside of you is actually telling you the truth. There is no real one truth. There is uh, your truth. That's what God wants you to do. He wants you to rise above what the outside has been telling you. And uh, the only reason why I think a lot of people are going through what they're going through right now with the vaccinations and stuff is because they're imprisoned. Hell does exist, but it's not where spirit is. That's in your mind. Man created that. The only hell I see is in people being told from the outside what's best for them. I had a beautiful meditation. I can't really talk about it, but uh, I did something today where... I tapped, to, I tapped into something that has been there since I was a little kid. I never, under, I never really got why. I could see these things in my mind. But they were there. I thought my mind was playing tricks on me, but... Nope, they were not. They were definitely not playing tricks on me. Hell is the third dimension. Lack of abundance. It's the state of mind not seeing your moment. That's why they say if you're in your future, you're always anxious. If you're in, if you're in your past, you're always depressed because you can't change it. But in meditation, you can give it a different energy to where you can let it go. Your past does not define you and never will. Now, if you've suffered a lot, it just means that once you are able to recognize your, 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 your moment of now, it's strength. But a lot of people play the victim, and I'm not going to say any names, but there's a lot of people out there playing the victim. And it's by their own doing. Nothing less, nothing more. I've done some stupid shit. And I mean stupid stuff when I was a kid. Even on to my adult years. But I recognized that all that was sort of a... Sort of like a snowball telling me... Terry, you're acting out because you don't like what's going on on the outside, which guided me inward. Now, the moment I went in and became my moment, everything fell apart. I lost my, I lost my mind. I went crazy and found my genius. And it was beautiful. So if there's anything I could wish for you today, to try. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not like a, it's not a hard exercise. Forget about what you need. Forget about what you want. Look around in your moment. Do you have everything you need? I do. And I don't care what's going to happen tomorrow because I'm smart enough that I can use my brain correctly and know that whatever is brought up to me, I can take my time 
and I'll figure out a solution. It's not that big of a deal. The people that control the third dimension, you'd be surprised. They know you're imprisoned in your mind. This is why they'll give you everything to be distracted. New TVs, all the sports you want to see, and they got to pay these athletes a lot of money because they know in their heart they could be doing something a lot better. But, you know, who am I to say, right? I don't know. I'm just speaking out loud because it's how I feel. But all these COVID things and the passports and all this stuff, it'll come to pass, just like everything. Right now, it's because they're seeing that they're losing control. People are waking up really fast. It's never been seen before. And basically, now they're throwing out the anchor. Like, you don't want to listen? We'll make you listen. Well, we got a surprise for you. <laughs> Your time is not only done, but God will take care of you. So good luck with your controlling and your greed. You're about to enter your own hell that you caused everyone to live. Other than that, in my heart, it's forgiven. I'm going to move on. I'm going to have some fun. But the world I live in is not the third dimension. In my world, there's abundance and full. There's love. There's compassion. And once you're at that dimension of just stable, you know that you're only here temporarily. We are all God, basically living life differently uniquely in our own little multiverse by God and through God. <laughs> the reason people are in prison is because they're still, they're still in a dream. But the people that are awakened, they know that they are in the body of God. Just temporarily living, loving abundance. So this is what I mean by being chosen. Chosens are here to spread their truth about what is real to them. It's not about religion, although, you know, there are systems on the outside that will lead you to your path, which is pretty cool. But I trust the universe. Fully. Not half-ass, not a quarter. Fully. Because I've trusted everyone on the outside of me. And all they did was disappoint me. It's amazing at how many people I've met that I treated like my parents did for me when I was a kid. They gave me everything I ever needed. But today I'm free. I'm completely free. And I've only got the universe or God or whatever you want to call it to thank. Because my heart is free to do what I want, when I want. And it's okay. I don't need an outside source validating who I am and what I want to do. 
Now, this might not resonate with a lot of people, but that's perfectly fine. You're not the people I'm targeting. Or you're not the people I want to share this story with. The people that get this video know that there's a bigger truth outside of themselves. And the moment you put your ego aside, or the illusion of self, like, I was created Terry Van Pepperstrat Weiselglan. <laughs> Whatever. Not true. The essence I am is of God. It's godly. It's divine. It's abundance. It's love. It's goosebumps. You know what I mean? Funyuns. I love Funyuns. I'm getting off track, but I need you to know that if you have this urge inside of you and you're looking out there thinking you're going to be the answer, think again. God's just making you walk all these different paths thinking your individual choice actually matters. I think the only time it actually matters is when you put yourself aside. Once I put this illusion of Terry that I was aside, I saw what was real. And I'm never letting that go. Does it make me any special or any higher or any lower than you? It doesn't. It just means I found myself. And this is why I'm sharing it to you. You are loved. You are blessed beyond measures. Especially man-made measures. <laughs> and you're beautiful. You know that saying, we are our own worst enemy? Think about that. Namaste.